Oh no, let's make a wet welly holder, shall we? Hi, I'm Chris. Welcome to King Bespoke Creations. Now, it's a bit cold and wet out there at the moment. This is filmed in January. Uh, and how many times do you come home with wet wellies where you've been jumping into muddy puddles and then you've got to put your welly somewhere? Well, today we're going to fix that problem because we're going to make an upside down welly holder that can sit outside. So while it's still chucking it down, it cleans your wellies for you while you just leave them and they're not dripping all over your nice carpet indoors. Dead easy stuff to do. Let's just crack on and make it, shall we? So we're only going to need two bits of wood for this. Um, preferably hard wood if you've got it, especially because it's going outside. Uh, if it's not, well, then just put lots of coat of finish on it to try and protect it from the elements. Uh, this is a hardwood log. I've no idea what the wood is. It's beautiful. And I've used sections of this before. Uh, but the further in I go, taking chunks off the sides, uh, the more cracks I'm finding on the top. So I can't really use this uh, for nice precise things like dovetail boxes and, and pretty things like that because those cracks are going to get in the way. So it makes it a perfect item to make this uh, welly holder that's still going to look really nice. So that's going to be the base. And sticking up from that base, uh, we need just some posts, just some dowling to hang your wellies on upside down. Now again, that realistically wants to be a hardwood. So I'm gonna use the wood handle from this old hoe. Little bit of side interest. This hoe was my father-in-law's. Uh, my father-in-law would have been 109 this year. Quite spectacular. Uh, and he used to work the land before tractors were invented. How awesome is that? Uh, so he had this hoe and it also it makes me think as well that he probably made this because that looks like it's it's spiked at the top as if that was a fork and he's put the plate on um, so a little bit of sentimental value with this now we've never used it as a hole and to be honest i wouldn't dare so what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut it off about there leaving some handle and then this is going to get hung in the garden as a little memento lovely Two pairs for adults that are 16 inches long and two pairs for kids wellies that are 8 inches long. Right, now that we've cut those to length, I'm just going to round over uh, just one end of each of those pieces, uh, just so it's not flat and boring and ugly. Uh, everything needs to feel nice, doesn't it? And I'm going to use one of my favourite tools. A Shinto saw rasp. I'll put a link in the description to get yourself one of these. They are one of the most used tools in my workshop. Of all of these tools I've got, this is the one I grab more often than not. So the next thing I'm going to do is use another one of my favourite tools, a hand plane. So this is just a number four plane. Um, always keep it super sharp and it'll do a wonder of different jobs. And then just a little run over with some sandpaper. I'm not trying to get rid of the grey. Literally just cleaning it and it just feels so much nicer than this rough up here. All we've got to do now is drill those holes. And this is where a little bit of the issue comes in. So because we're using dowling 
um, that isn't new it doesn't tend to fit a lot of drill bits especially because it's old and worn as well uh, so I've got roughly the right size forcing a bit it's a fraction too small um, which means we'll drill the hole and then I might just need to whittle the edge off the dowel in for it to fit in the hole nicely um, better than drilling a hole that's a bit too big and then having to pack it with something which isn't great We'll take the finish off the rest of that. Job done. Right then, so the next thing is just to glue them in. But make sure your wood glue is suitable for exterior purposes. Some wood glue isn't. So if it's left outside and it gets wet all the time, it'll start to dissolve, break up, and be non existent. Um, Gorilla glue. Uh, Gorilla wood glue uh, certainly is good for exterior purposes, as are many others, but make sure you check your label first. So the last thing to do is to put some finish. Um, anything that is exterior quality, um, some varnishes will work really well. Um, I like uh, a Danish oil. It pretty much works for any situation. Just wipe it on uh, with some tissue or a rag. The first coat soaks into the wood, so you wanna put plenty on there until it's not soaking anymore in. After 15 minutes or so, wipe off the excess. The second or third coats are just to even out the look of everything. So because it soaks in, that first coat might soak in more in different areas than others. Um, so the second coat just evens everything out. The third coat, if you think it needs one, uh, would just do the same again. You're never gonna get a shine from a Danish oil, but it'll give you a really nice um, kind of matte clear finish. Really brings out all the colors. And there we are, one wet welly holder. No more newspaper on the floor, soggy mud everywhere inside your house. Oh, and you might want to see this. <laughs> Isn't that nice? Lovely. You can fix anything, you can make anything. Just get in your workshop and have a go. If you'd like more weekend projects or tips and tricks, then make sure you click that subscribe button and ring the little notification bell thingamajig to make sure you get each video as it comes out. Until next time, sharpen your tools and I'll see you soon. God bless.